Hey guys, I uh, recently discovered that, I don't know how I did it, but apparently when I was uh, packing up my range bag, a shotgun shell um, fell out of my bag or fell out of the box or somehow it got into my laundry basket. And uh, last night I discovered that I washed this guy along with my laundry. So probably not going to be too safe to fire it through the shotgun so what I'm gonna do is what I did about a few years ago we're gonna turn this into a snap cap which is one of these guys um, this way if you're practicing dry firing your shotgun although dry firing a shotgun is not gonna hurt anything this would be a good uh, be a nice way to practice when you do practice so um, let me, sorry about that guys, the camera's battery decided it was going to die on me. I didn't pay attention to the little, little meter up there. Okay, so basically a couple years ago I made this just for practice and uh, it's been working really well and uh, so far so good. It's got some it's been fired a few times so it is a uh, it's a very cheap way of buying a um, or making your own snap cap I was at the uh, I was at the gun shop the other day and these are like twenty dollars for two of these snap caps and I doubt they'll last as long as this has I made like four of these uh, two years ago two and a half years ago and they're still going strong so I can show you had to turn one of these into one of these so we'll come back and uh, I'll show you what you need alright so what we're gonna need to do this whole thing is we're gonna need a sharp knife we're gonna need needle nose pliers a little piece of blue paper towel a probably a container with a cap I happen to have an old pill bottle bottle that I found I'm going to use that and a bottle an empty bottle with a little bit of water in it and we're going to use this to neutralize, neutralize the powder I've added a little bit of dish soap in here also um, just to make it a little bit safer so uh, the other thing you need is a hot glue gun this is a hot glue gun I got a few years ago from Walmart um, I don't know how much they are now but they can't be that expensive um, and then of course you will need a if I can do this without knocking things over you will need a shotgun Of course. Um, okay, so let's get cracking. These are the cheap federal stuff that I get from Walmart. The field and target loads. Uh, 12 gauge, 7.5 shots. It's very similar to. Man, that noise. Sorry, one of the neighbors is doing something. Okay, so I'm gonna put these aside and we'll get cracking. So first thing you want to do is we want to open up our shell. Now this is very dangerous. If if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. Okay, this video is only for people who have experience with this before. Okay, this is very very dangerous. Don't try that. But what we're going to do, you see that little rim right there, that little rim, I'm just going to cut that off. So I'm just going to go in with my knife and I'm going to cut that off. See how that's going? Go slowly, take your time. Nice and gentle.
Okay, now the derm has been cut. You can see some of the shells in there. You can see some of the shots in there. Sorry, not shells. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring over my pill bottle. I'm going to open up the cap and I'm going to just let the shot fall out into the pill bottle. Sounds like it's about all of it. So we're just gonna cap that just in case. That's why we need a cap, just in case it tilts over. There's a lot of little BBs in there. They're gonna go everywhere. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my knife and just open this guy up. If you notice the lip is a little uneven what you can do you can get a dremel and just even that out or with your knife just take a little bit little bits and pieces it doesn't need to be perfectly level you know the more level the better but uh just gonna get that into there that's all right all right i'm just gonna put that little bit aside now we have a wadding, which is a plastic one in here. So we're gonna take that out, and the way we do that is uh, you can try and pull out with your finger. The first bit should come out by itself, and we're gonna save this. And then the next bit, it's the second wadding, which sits on top of our powder. And we're gonna need a pair of needle nose pliers to get to that guy. So I'm gonna go in here. Grab it. I'm gonna pull it out. See, it has powder on it. Don't worry, I'm just gonna set that aside. We're gonna get the powder off of it here pretty soon. Okay, next, I'll get this light adjusted. Next, we have our. powder at the bottom over there. So we're going to have to take that out. The way we do that is I'm going to grab my water bottle or really any kind of bottle. It doesn't have to be a water bottle. <coughs> Open the cap and we're just going to pour that powder in there. Sometimes when you tip it it won't it won't pour in there. So what you have to do, you have to squeeze the base just to loosen up the powder in there. I'm just gonna do that. Flick the shell. Let that powder fall out. And there's still a little bit more in there. Get it fairly clean. Yeah, it's all rusty inside. I don't know if that primer is still any good or not, but we need to neutralize that primer. Um, all the powder's out, but just for safety's sake, we're going to run a little bit of. Uh, paper towel down there just to get everything every little bit out there's a few flakes of powder still in there yep get that out go in there get all that powder out
almost there. There's a little bit more left in there. I gotta get that out. I'm just gonna Alright, everything's out. So, let me put that aside. I'm just going to collect this stuff. Or trash, basically. That aside, I'm gonna pour that into my little water bottle. And just let the powder get nice and wet. Okay. And I'll cap my bottle. <clears throat> empty shell and it's so hard to yeah you see you can see the primer down there in the center so the shell is empty now we need to neutralize, neutralize the primer some people say score WD-40 in there or get it wet um, I think the best way to do it is uh, just to discharge it just gonna use a shotgun and uh, it can be a little loud so what I do is I get my little piece of blue paper towel and it needs to be heavy duty blue piece of paper towel and I'm just gonna wet it just put some water on it make sure it's wet just making sure it's nice and wet and then I'm gonna stick it down that tube in there and shove it down there you need to make a good, you know, tight seal around there when you, uh... Let me see here. When you get that in there. So, next thing we do is we are going to grab our shotgun. Let's see if I can do this without knocking stuff over. It in. Safety off, point it in the safe direction, and pull the trigger. Well, nothing happened. As the primer was yeah, it doesn't smell burnt or anything. And the primer didn't go off. You want that primer to go off, but in my case, it didn't go off. Does the primer do get wet? Hmm. I'm just going to hit it one more time. That in there. Okay. Get this out of the way. Okay. In my case, because mine's been through the washing machine, the primer didn't go off but we hit it enough if it was going to go off it would have gone off by now so I will put that aside okay so next thing we do is we're going to grab our little two pieces of wadding like that 
Um, this one's going to go in the same way it came out. So it came out this way, so I'm just going to put that in like that. And push it down, all the way down. This one came out like this, but in our case, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it upside down. And we're going to put it in upside down. So it's going to go in like that. It's going to leave a little bit of area right there with the flat shelf at the bottom. So now we'll grab our pellets again. And we're going to put some pellets in there. I'm not going to fill it all the way to the top, but just enough. The reason I put pellets in there is. So it's a little bit nose heavy, it becomes a little unbalanced, it's going to eject very similarly to a shotgun shell would. Also it will help you not confuse it with the real shelf because it's going to feel totally different. It will be nose heavy and we're just going to have some shot left over. So. We're going to leave a little bit of space between the edge and the surface of the shots. I'm just going to tap it down, put my finger on it, give it a little twirl, make sure they're all seated nice and tight in there. Okay. Next, I'm going to grab my hot glue gun. And I'm going to just put a big glob of it. you got to make sure that your glue gun is really hot to the point where it's dripping off the nose. Um, that way the glue is nice and liquid. And I will just pump that out. Make sure it reaches the edges. Okay. And it's in there. Now this will shrink a little bit. It will shrink a bit once uh once it dries, but yeah, that guy right there. It's nice and covered in. So there's an air bubble. I don't know if you guys can see the air bubble. But I need to get rid of that air bubble. Air bubbles usually okay. Now we have some imperfections. We can fix that by just touching the hot nose to the glue. Now that's done. We'll just let that dry and uh, I'll come back and we'll finish it off. Very well. Um, this is the old one. Just gonna drop that in. And Jack's perfectly fine. So that's that would do it for that part. Um, I do have a I did buy a new gun. <clears throat> it's a cool little it's a pretty cool little gun. I'm uh, I'm liking it so far. Uh, I'm just gonna add some accessories to it and uh, I'll show you guys. We'll do a little review on it once I shoot it. I haven't shot it yet, but uh, uh, it's made by Caltech. I don't know. Um, see if you can guess what it is. It's actually a uh, pretty neat little gun. So, all right, guys, that would uh, that would do it. Um, if you're gonna do this, be very very careful. Uh, if you've never done anything like this, probably shouldn't do it. But if you're in need of a 12 gauge snap cap. 
this is a really good way to do it. Um, you know, drop the uh, the shell you're gonna work on in water for for a day, let it dry for you know three or four days, um, and then just go through what we went through, and uh, that's it. And you will get yourself a nice little snap cap to practice with. All right, guys. We'll see you. Let me know if you have any questions.